Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about example of the transmission line. And this is the previous examination question, the year December 2017. The question is, in this year, a transmission line of length has a characteristic impedance of 100 and is terminated by a load impedance of 200 plus J 180 ohms. Find voltage reflection coefficient and voltage standing wave ratio. So this is a this is the question or this is the example in the year December 2017. And this is the example of the transmission line. Now coming to the solution. So given that given that the characteristic impedance J0 is equal characteristic impedance J0 is equal 100 ohms and load impedance Z suffix R is equal 200 plus J 180 ohms determine reflection coefficient determine voltage reflection coefficient K and standing wave ratio standing wave ratio yes first we can determine reflection coefficient k so we know that we know that the reflection coefficient k is equal k is equal z r minus z naught by z r plus z naught Given that characteristic impedance and load impedances are there and substitute ZR and Z0 values here, ZR is 200 plus J 180 ohms minus characteristic impedance Z0 is 100 divided by 200 plus J 180 ohms plus 100. So that is equal 200 minus 100, 100 plus J 180 ohms divided by 300 plus J 180 ohms. So now determine the magnitude of the reflection coefficient. The magnitude, take the magnitude on both side. Take the magnitude on both side. Magnitude of LHS term is equal to magnitude of RHS term. So magnitude of 100 plus J 180 divided by magnitude of 300 plus J 180. Square root of 100 square is 10 to the power of 4. Square root of 180 square is 32.4 into 10 cube divided by Square root of 300 square is 90 into 10 cube plus 180 whole square is 32.4 into 10 cube. Square root of 10 to the power of 4 plus 32.4 into 10 cube is 205.9. Square root of 90 into 10 cube plus 32.4 10 cube is 349.8. So 205, 205.9 divided by 349.8 is 588 0.588 so that is the reflection coefficient value next calculate the standing wave ratio we know that the standing wave ratio S is equal to 1 plus magnitude of K divided by 1 minus magnitude of K. So we know that the, the reflection coefficient value is already calculated which is 0 0.588. So 1 plus 0 0.588 divided by 1 minus 0 0.588. S is equal 1.588 divided by 1 minus 0 0.588 is 0 0.412, 0 0.412, 1 
1.588 divided by 0.412 is 3.3584 3 